Okay, so today we're going to create a report using LibreOffice Base via MySQL table. Yeah, we've already I've already created the database structure. It's right here. It's a GP system. And we're going to be using base for the report until. So we're going to want to connect an existing database, which would be a MySQL, a MySQL, and we'll click connect directly. The database name for this occasionally has to be an actual database in your database system or your schema. Ours is called report demo. So we'll just call it that. Report demo. And it's a, is this a local My, MySQL install? We use a local IP address. Oh, let's take it right. And go on. And it does require a password. You shouldn't use root at any time, but this is a sample setup. Yes, we want to open the database and yes, register it. And we'll call it a file name. It's going to ask for the database password. You can see, you now have all your tables. So generate a report, we usually need to pull a query. It's usually these, we, we can generate it per table, but I'm going to base this one off a of query. So we're going to create a new query. And we'll start with something simple. I'll resize that window down a bit. We can take it back to tables. And we've got a report demo here. So we'll just select, select star from test appointment. And we'll give that a quick run to make sure it actually finds some records. It does. Handy. So we can now generate, we can save that query. We'll just call it. Now that's actually only pulling the table. We won't save that. I'll actually go for a slightly more complex query, which is a double join. And it joins test patient on the patient numbers from the test patient table. And it, jo it joins the test GP on the GP number for the appointment. So we can run that. You can see it gets the appointment dates, the patient name the GP's name, the consultant's name, and what sample was created, taken from that patient on that day. It's a much better query to generate a report from. So we'll save that. The appointments. We can now close that. So we now have our query there. We can actually generate a report, a report from this. We can use the wizard or we can generate a report manually. I'm just going to show you the using the wizard. Yeah, we're going to want all of those fields just now because yes <coughs> and we'll click next and the labels I'm just going to leave them as standard but you really should edit them yeah, I'm going to want to see all the appointments for each GP so I'm going to group it by GP if you want to see the patients you can group it by the patients If you want to see it per day, you can do it by per day. And that'll affect the way the data comes out. So, I'm going to do it by that, and we're not going to have any sort of options just now. I like to keep it as tabular, but you can change it to columns. I like to just keep it as tabular and put it to portrait because I like to print the reports. And we should create it. Yes, we want to. We don't want to create a report now, we want to modify it. And that means it keeps us on this screen. We can close that window. So we now have our standard report layout where we can add standard footer elements. I'll bring that down actually. So it's all on screen. So 
So I'm going to want to add some text just into the header of every page. I'll just put it in as a label. Put it in as I changed it over here. GP appointment report. center line that just so it looks neater. We can also center the box. And at the bottom I'd like to enter page numbers and put it to the right of the page. I'd also like to enter the, the date and time. Well the date the report was generated on so That gives us that this this bit here is for every group for our grouping so every time we come in new GP it would print this we can actually see it a bit better if we open it up yeah, every time there's a new GP it prints a new group header we'd like the group footer on also we can close that so for every group footer I'd, I'd come over here and I'd tell it to force a new page that's, that makes every time there's a GP, a GP gets a new page on the printed report. And we can move these fields between them, but I'm going to print and I'm going to execute the report now. And I'll bring it over and show you. So, GP report, today's date, the page. That gives us the GP name, the appointment, patient name, and the samples. That. We can also add in some calculated fields. So I'm going to bring a text input over. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to bring a wee label and I'll say we'll, we'll just work out the total amount of visits we had for that GP. So, total visits and we can change this field. We'll go into the data and it's a counter. Because we want to count how many records. And we can save that report again and execute it once more. There you go. And you can sit now see we now have the amount of visits on the page also. So that will be for every group. And we can close that. We can also add in calculated fields. We have no data in this database to calculate a field, but it is possible to change it to a function, eh, work out what data field you want to do the function on, and we can do minimum maximum accumulation, which is the sum of those fields. Eh, we have no fields to actually do that with for this database, so we can't show you it. But I'll go ahead and save that. I'll make it a bit neater. I'll actually bring this out so it doesn't run it again. Yep. I'm quite happy with that format. We can actually make it a tiny bit neater by making the header slightly bigger. As you can see the update and that's in the, the group header. Well the details are in the details. This is this only repeats once per grouping and this repeats for every record inside that group. And that is generating a report from a MySQL, just a, any query, because you've already provided the query at the start.